Zoom thing? Yeah, you're welcome to, but we're live, baby. We're live. Oh, no. oh I think somebody what? touched. <laughs> the bell is not where it's supposed to be. Uh oh. Someone's been in what your the room. Hell? Did you take it hell? to Canada with you? No, I didn't. You know what happened is that um, I left here for I left here for a day, mm -hmm. and my wife let a cleaning person come in. Here. Oh no, that's the worst, dude. <laughs> Rachel's out of town right now, and she's like. Hey, just uh, FYI, while I'm out of town for the week, I've got the landscaper showing up. I got the cleaner showing up. I scheduled the girl's dentist appointments. Oh. I did, and I'm like, <laughs> no. And as she's out Genius. the door, I was like, do not schedule more stuff for me mm -hmm. to do on this week. I will not do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just like, okay, I get yeah. it. That yeah, my wife. That's her move. Is uh, she will schedule things to happen at the house, workers to come, things she cares deeply about, and then will yeah. not be here when they come. And yeah. then, if what she wanted to have happen doesn't happen, she will also be mad. Yeah, sounds right. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yes. So there you go. All right, well, here we go. We're live here on News AF. Welcome everybody to the live stream. Shakas. Okay. All right, we got a lot. I got a lot of stories. Uh, so Ooh. we can talk about uh, wherever, wherever you want to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go right. for a journey. Yeah. What's up, chat? Chat is uh, fired up today. Are we on Twitter already? <laughs> Should be. Yeah. I'll see. Um. Oh, I don't want. I don't want me looking at my phone to bog down my stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Retweeted. Retweeted. Okay. Retweeted, okay. ready to go. Okay. Ready to go. All right. Here we are. And it's going to be a hot news AF. I'm just back in the country, uh, like uh, about uh, two hours. Nice. All right. Here we yep. go. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Rob Sestrino back again to talk with you about the week's most interesting news stories for the week of April 9th. 2024 here on News AF. If the story is buzzing like it's on crystal meth, it's about to be News AF. If the same old news makes you bored to death, it's time for some News AF. Actual, factual news. Hey, we are back. News AF here on uh, the day after the eclipse on a very News af -y week here once again here with Pickleball's top influencer. Here is Tyson Apostle. Yep. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm just messing with this light, seeing where it looks best on my face. But yes, I mean, it's hard to ruin perfection, even if you try. Yeah, so, I noticed your beard is longer than uh, normal. I know. I just was like, fuck it. Let's do beard. Yeah. So we're doing beard. It's kind of gross, uh, but whatever. You know, mm -hmm. I, you have to have some. Like, it's weird. Like, once you've had facial hair, at all any type of beard hair and then you shave it off you forget yeah. how little of a chin yeah. you have like you shave it off you're like oh did i always have a turtle chin or is that mm -hmm. new like is that new with age <laughs> so, and the good news is that beard will not invite conversation from strangers <laughs> no it's surprising how many people still talk to me like i've always thought that like especially little kids that are like hi sir and i'm like am i not the scariest guy here why mm -hmm. are you santa, talking to me why santa has a beard me? So they've been pre-programmed to True. be, you know, pro beard. And even babies will like pick me out of a group of people. They like to like yeah. make eyes with me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that also could be, I watched a, a TikTok video and they said that that could be a sign that you're handsome because Ooh. babies, they're, they're drawn to they symmetry know. and they mm -hmm. are drawn to like, like, you know, men then like are, are, like as adults, like you get mm -hmm. like uh, into this like society and then you can't just like say to another man, hey, you're handsome. But babies, they, they don't have that. Yeah. They should they keep babies it. around at the TSA, like mm -hmm. to see who, which the who the baby likes. And any baby that cries at you, you you're pulled aside. You yeah. think you like, think that they can also determine good why and not? evil based fully on they yeah they were they recently in heaven so they're in touch right <laughs> that's what everybody says uh, does everybody say that yeah so keep a couple babies around mm -hmm. with the dogs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know they got those dogs sniffing your bag yeah which always makes me wonder like I don't know did my bag brush against some cocaine you know yeah. who knows right. cash have cocaine on it. 
Always yeah, dogs no, are there for the same reason the TSA is there, a false sense of This security. is a good idea. No, the dogs are doing the work too. Uh, the, but, but this is new to get the babies. You know, and people are always like, oh, you got to cut down on screen time for babies. Well, maybe get them working at the airport and yeah. that would help. TSA. Mm -hmm. TSA babies. Mm -hmm. A TSA baby. You have a short window, so I wonder if you could charge a premium as a really, really talented TSA baby. What's mm. the age for a TSA baby? Like probably six months to six probably... months to a year and a half. That's yeah. exactly what I was once going to say. Walk, means... then yeah, once they walk, yeah, they walk, they're, they're going out through the metal detector. It's like, come you here, can... come here, come here. Like you're getting distracted, but like you can put them in the bumbo seat, and if one, yeah. if, as long as they can stay put in the bumbo seat without like yeah. getting distracted, they're good. But the second that they can exit the bumbo seat on their own, out. So Tyson, list. what do you think it is? So they go through like the metal detector and they go through the thing that's mm -hmm. like, okay, it spins around. And then if it, it's, if it comes up like, uh, no, the baby's negative? posted, no, the baby's posted right there. And as you walk through, after you do the body scan, you have to say goo goo gaga. Ga yeah. To you the have baby. to look at the baby. You have to you make eye baby? contact. No, you yes. just make eye contact. No. Okay. You make and eye the baby contact. Looks at you and screams. That's bad. Yeah. Aside. Then you're, it's a search, full search, <laughs> Cavity full search. search baggage gets pulled everything everything's searched all right if come baby, with me sir yeah if baby smiles then you don't you, you can pass the vibes on. test yeah. yeah if your baby smiles or laughs you can keep your shoes on you don't even have to take those off for screening uh um, yeah that's the new pre-check is that yeah just get the baby to smile or laugh with that quick thing mm -hmm. and you're good yeah this is good yeah. like I uh like i like this this is a, this is a good idea yeah you know, or maybe if it's like if it's borderline, it's like uh, I don't know. There's still something about this person. Uh, like, do they pay? Like the the vibes are off. Like, uh, all right, bring out the baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. You like need that. like one or two right before the strip search. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can pass the baby test, you don't get the uh, strip search. Yes. Okay. Um, a man who I don't know. Ha have Have you been strip searched? It's Danny Bryson. Hmm. You no. a lot. Yeah, you know what? They used to always target me when I had longer hair in a beard, Tyson. Oh, uh, yeah. I felt like That's I always insane. got targeted at TSA. I did still get people asking me for directions. So Tyson is correct. The, the beard and the long hair and the mean look isn't enough to persuade people not to talk to you. Mm -hmm. But never had the pleasure of um, being strip searched by a TSA <laughs> agent. And I hope that saying that out loud will not make it come to fruition. Yeah. So, yeah, but you've got a pat down, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I've had my genitals um, patted down. Yeah. Like Wait, what? I was just you know all over the body, Tyson. Well, Tyson, it's okay. They okay. use this part of the hand. Yeah, they... the back. I'm gonna use the back of my hands. Oh. Okay, good. So you won't enjoy it, but yeah, I still so will. it's not an erogenous mm -hmm. zone. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> it's like as long as it's the back of your hands, because I know there's fewer nerve endings there, so I know that you won't really get an idea for size. Mm -hmm. for the back of your hand. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a horrible yeah. experience. Yeah. How's your week, Danny? Oh, it's going great. I, I'm not like you. I was hoping to bathe in the totality, you know, yes. and just like absorb all of that cosmic energy. But uh, I didn't even notice. I was up in the mountains oh. and I kept looking at the shadows, but I wasn't even close enough to get that little shadow thing going on. Yeah. Really? The fractal shadows or whatever they are. Yeah. Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah. Yeah, I regretted not taking my kids to see the full eclipse. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, the totality, I should have been a better father and taken my kids to see that. Uh, yeah, I, they did do a celebration at school. They took their son, the glasses out and got to look at yeah, it. So they did, did see too. it. And then I saw it in the backyard. I was here and Tafosi, my sunglass uh, partner, sent me some uh, some eclipse shades so i got to do that so that was all cool but if you're a good parent you would have taken your kids to see the eclipse <laughs> if you could the total total eclipse yeah yeah so i w did get to go see uh the eclipse we had the totality i was in hamilton so ontario canada mm -hmm. and we were in uh in the right place at the right time and it was dicey it was dodgy because clouds. i woke up and i woke up the clouds as uh, at two o'clock very cloudy 
very overcast. And then around like 245, like just in time for the eclipse, uh, the cloud cover broke. And so we got it and it was uh, it was pretty amazing. It is cool. Way and cool. I've seen it. I'm good. Yeah. Now you don't have to travel around, around the world. Yeah. Yes. Would but I go what to about my... to share your kids? Share with your kids. Uh, well, the, I think the next one that's going to be here is going to be in they're the going to be like they're going to be the... men. Yeah, but that's why they we're going to have themselves. to go. Take, I'll take my grandkids to go see the next eclipse. Let's go to Iceland. Yes. In two years, in 2026, August 2026. I already did the Ooh, research. That would be cool. Yeah. 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 Boy, it seems like it happens a lot. It does. It happens around every 18 to 24 months yes. somewhere on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. it's pretty good yeah yeah um but there was like a lot of uh eclipse mania coming up uh a lot of people were worried about what the eclipse was going to signal i mean it was a pretty wild week between the earthquake that hit new york on friday did you hear about oh, this i saw the yes. funny stuff people making fun of everyone they were making that. fun yeah of a natural disaster like that? <laughs> it wasn't a natural disaster. Where was the disaster? Yeah. Did you see also that the Statue of Liberty got struck by a lightning bolt the other day? Yeah. End times. End and then the times. End, let's, yes, and a lot of people were saying like, uh-oh, uh-oh. But it looks like we came out on the other end okay. Uh, I got Starlink just in time. As the grid shuts down, I will still be able to download movies. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say podcast to an audience that can't listen. Mm -hmm. Yes, two things. Well, it seems like uh, there was a lot of reports of the animals going berserko. Oh yeah, I saw the zoo mm -hmm. video. Well, the giraffes running around. Yes, Tyson, is that did you notice any of that here? Any animals uh, in your eclipse viewings? No, honestly, I didn't. There was a woodpecker going kind of crazy yesterday <laughs> yeah. in our backyard. I did notice that for some yeah. reason. Like now that you're saying it, I didn't make note of it at the time, but there was definitely a woodpecker back there making noise. Um, and other than that, no. And we get a lot of wildlife here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. A lot maybe. of people were trying to cash in on the eclipse yesterday. A lot of brands had uh, different eclipse uh products and they were all trying to cash in pizza mm -hmm. hut had a uh a total eclipse of the hut uh that they were trying to do nothing will make anyone buy more pizza mm -hmm. hut. <laughs> <laughs> like, sonic had a blackout slush float so it's like a total black that'd be kind of gross mm -hmm. it seems yeah. like a lot of food coloring in that yeah thing. right the yeah, inside oh, yeah. of you are turning <laughs> you just want to see it it's pretty yeah. it is pretty gross yeah they're just like, you're going to have to add more purple dye, now more green, now more black dye, now more like all of the colors until it's just like disgusting. Mm -hmm. Gross. Yep. Okay. So that was at Sonic, the uh, blackout shake. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. yeah that looks like sludge, <laughs> like a big toxic sludge. Yeah. They put the whipped cream on it to invite you to drink it. Yeah. But when you're done with it, you're probably asking yourself, what did I just mm -hmm. drink? Yeah. Applebee's had a perfect eclipse margarita. Hmm. Mm, okay mm -hmm. yeah are you getting this like let's say you're like honey the eclipse is in an hour what should we do and you're like let's go it's to applebee's i heard they have <laughs> <laughs> go to applebee's i heard they have yeah. eclipse margaritas okay all right um there we'll were go to sonic afterwards and get some pizza hut <laughs> all right how about uh the solar eclipse sun chips yes well, how no, can you say that we... even real I don't, I don't know, but Sun Chip is. Uh, I saw Sun Chips no. were a mainstay of many eclipse parties. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this is like their time to cash in? They're just like we built this brand eighty five years ago <laughs> to <laughs> cash right. in. They should mathematically. do something that happens more often. <laughs> <laughs> the sun happens every day, Rob. I guess so. Maybe they could do something with Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I'm not buying. I didn't buy any products uh, that were eclipse focused. Based. What about these uh, to solar eclipse survival uh, moon pies? Uh, I mean, uh, hilarious. Gross. No, you could put those and save them for the next eclipse in 1944. In 2000, 2044. But are these real? Are these real? 
the sun chips things did it didn't look real yeah i mean you made a product for an event that happens like i just don't it does seem like you could order the the moon pie uh, off of their website yeah okay good we've that one's Mm -hmm. legit yep yeah so i i i think that like it's fun but it's like it's like april fools for corporate where it's just like oh they're gonna get us and nobody's gonna believe it and if you're really really clever people might share it or laugh a little bit and you might get one doofus and here it's the same it's like we have to participate just to show that we're a fun brand but it's not moving the needle Sorry, so we're not selling a lot of products here during the eclipse. Uh, but maybe uh this could be big optometry trying to cash in because according to oh, yeah. some research mm-hmm. that searches for her <laughs> eyes spiked in the United States after the solar eclipse. I saw this. Like yeah. someone wrote that their eyes were boiling. I'm mm-hmm. like the best picture ever, and I had to be reminded of this, was the picture of Trump staring at the eclipse last year, just staring directly. Yeah, yeah nothing bad yeah. happened to him. He was he never, fine after he that. Did. Yeah, he, he never Not even brain damage or anything. <laughs> About <Nothing>. boiling eyes. <laughs> you you oh. can stare directly at the sun as long as yeah. you're president. He's uh, in line. I'm going to go to Albertsons and get all of the super discounted uh, solar eclipse goods today because I think yeah. they have that aisle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I was in uh, the supermarket uh, on my way home from the airport uh-huh. this morning and then they had like uh, like they had like lunar eclipse like uh, cookie cake uh, and it was like heavily discounted. Yeah. Yeah. No Get surprise that. everybody. <laughs> but yeah. it wasn't it wasn't discounted enough. I thought you were so going to go a- Oh. I thought you were going to say, Tyson, you were going to go buy all the eye drops. Ooh, like, that's oh, smart. So, yeah. That's really smart. I don't think we're at the shutdown level of mayhem on that yet, where it's like, uh, buy all the medications yeah. and all the toilet paper. Oh, like, we're I, not there yet. Post-solar um, eclipse eye yeah. goo. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw uh, there was a, a lot of, um, or there was a, like an article also today that was like really pushing people like, Hey, you got to recycle your eclipse glasses. Uh, they could use those recycle, recycle, like bring them into How do you recycle them. Uh, that they turn well, 3d glasses. No, I don't know what the, they said that there's people that need these eclipse glasses. Yeah. Uh, welders. yeah I was going to say, take up welding. With your glasses. <laughs> yeah. Like the eclipse yeah. glasses. Like if anybody, like you can't see anything. Like what, a, like how many people need these? I was going to wear mine today for this entire podcast. You would be like, completely blind. You would be. Yeah. You could not see one thing. You wouldn't see the story. The only thing you could see is the sun. Yeah. But there's a lot of like, let's talk about, Hey, got to recycle your eclipse glasses. Where do you take them? Okay. So to recycle your, uh, the, yeah. Um, the gla- first of all, the glasses don't expire, so you could save them for the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can donate your eclipse uh, glasses to Astronomers Without Borders. Uh, donate them to Eclipse glasses. This is like Eclipse. Glasses. I already donated like six million dollars to Astronomers Without Borders <laughs> last year. Do I still yeah. need to donate what my glasses scam. there too? That they're yeah. like, hey, get the you can buy the Eclipse glasses, and then after you're done, give it back to us for free. Yeah, I also feel like astronomy has no borders. Like, hmm. We can all enjoy astronomy. You'd think. And, and what? People are just like spending the middle of the day just staring at the sun. I'm so <laughs> glad I've got these glasses so I can no, just watch the sun. Burn. They're taking them to South America for the next one. Is that really what they're doing? They're getting what they're jumbo they're jets doing. and filling them with recycled yes. uh, glasses and flying yes. them down. Yeah. You overestimate how many people are actually going to recycle these stands. There's a lot of concern that the glasses are going to end up in the landfill. Like, oh, they are. Not for anything like uh, what, how much pay, how much room in the if 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 one billion eclipse glasses were in the landfill, are they taking up a shoebox? Uh, uh, yeah, I think maybe 500 million shoeboxes like they fold and, and they're literally like the like Classical. the <laughs> they're the yeah. size of a piece of paper. Where are you trying to justify not recycling yours, Rob? What wow, you Rob. Yours? Yeah, I'm gonna right? keep mine. I'm, gonna keep I'm mine. keeping mine too. Yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't you keep them? Listen, That's what I don't get. Like, just hold on to those. This is what we could do. So, in the future, you know how people, uh, you know how people 
have those transition lenses. Let's just have the transition lenses transition all the way to solar Eclipse, eclipse viewing. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I think that's eclipse, fun. Eclipse viewing glasses. Yeah. Can it, you imagine uh, they're like activate solar eclipse viewing? Can't you also donate these glasses to people who have had cataract surgery? Like seems hmm. like these might work. And LASIK eye surgery, maybe. They're so, yeah. But they're so dark. You really um like it's like completely like uh mm -hmm. opaque if you are not staring at the sun mm. yeah it is <laughs> it's perfect it's <laughs> what i do want to wear i want to wear them daily now in my life uh nicole in the chat says her sister has pink eye can i still donate a, the her pair yeah, yeah why I think wouldn't as long you? as there aren't any fluid like uh that gets on eye there juice, yeah all over yeah. it i mean mm -hmm. pink eye <laughs> is yeah I, do you think any bros stared at the eclipse with their vision pro oh 100 yeah, dude right through, their, their, through the windshield yeah. of the cyber truck i think with the vision pro i think you can like uh have an augmented reality and eclipse anytime you want Listen, yeah that's I, true mm -hmm. I know by the way you, oh go ahead sorry tyson i no. went to the tesla <laughs> display mm -hmm. sorry to change the, the story but uh I saw a Cybertruck up close. Oh, I and, saw. And, I've seen three of three of them in the area, and one of them is at the pickleball venue where I play in the parking lot. Are and they I all broken all... down? No, uh, but I hate them, and no. I know that the person oh, who I was drives say that the you love them. I, I thought it was cool. So, Danny, one time I said maybe I should get a Porsche SUV at some point. And you're like, you don't want to be a douche. Okay. <laughs> this is ten times that a Cybertruck is ten I know. times it was that. Instantly like I ruined. I look at those cyber trucks and I'm like, I don't know whose this is, but I know that that person is not my style so of person. It's interesting not you bring that your you bring kind that of guy. Yeah. Because not I did read the worst marketing ever are the Tesla truck owners. Because not only are they, they seem a little bit annoying, but they're also taking the truck out and doing destructive things, shooting it with guns. Driving it, you know, in terrible they're shooting conditions. their own car with a gun. Yeah, they're shooting their own cars. That's it was like cool. the world's worst marketing are the Tesla owners. And I saw an article that's like, please stop doing these horrible I mean, things to these. Is trucks. the Cybertruck bulletproof? It's supposed to be to small arms fire. I think I heard at least mm -hmm. the wind, uh, the windows are. But people are out there shooting it with like 50 caliber rifles, driving mm -hmm. it into the ocean. <laughs> it's just like the worst possible. Uh, advertisement mm -hmm. are all these dudes because they're all dudes just yeah. out there doing cyber truck stuff i thought the truck would does be cool. one woman own a cyber truck um yes kim kardashian does oh okay yeah that's even I yeah, that. like i said i i'm not, not saying that support, support or hurts the thing. but the truck up close right uh -huh. assuming nobody owned it yet it did yeah. look cool no it, i thought it was Wrong. cool i did i also saw optimus up close their robot uh -huh. oh and it looked like Danny, it was, would did never you go work. to the Tesla headquarters? Where did you see all this stuff? They have a, like a little, uh, I don't know what in you the would mall. call it. In Danny the mall. goes to West malls West now. Kiosk. Danny goes to malls now. The Westfield Mall. At the Los Westfield Angeles. Mall, they have a Tesla store and you can yeah. go see the Cybertruck and the robots? Yeah, they're just sitting there. Yeah. Wow. There's, a guy, there's a guy sitting there with a rag because the oh, handprint is so bad. So like, you know, when people go up and touch it, he goes and washes. Oh, you know, gets it I would be better off never having seen a cyber truck because when I saw it, the first one I saw, I was just like, it evoked like feelings of <laughs> dislike and annoyance for the person who owned it. Just me, like it, just knowing like what that person was like. Maybe and it'll die down. When the, no, you know, no, you don't think it's no, possible. No, it will not die down unless every other truck manufacturer makes equally or more stupid looking trucks. Hmm. I then, like the look. I do not agree with you. Tyson. And that says I something about you. Cool. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. I belong in the same stratosphere as Kim K mm -hmm. and all the other cool <laughs> celebrities that own it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, hey, here comes Danny Bryson down the street in his cyber truck. Okay, yeah, look well, let's be clear. Look Wait, at how proud he is. Santa Claus a ride this year. It's going to be at, in style. Look at how proud he is of the stupidest <laughs> looking vehicle. Unbeknownst to him, the stupidest looking thing I, anyone's ever seen. Like when when people drive around, it's like it's like the, the emperor's Pontiac Aztec was way yeah. dumber looking. Yeah, yeah, about the same. Dan, do you know that was the week. prize on the first Survivor? 
Yeah. yeah. It's like the only people that ever owned one were people from Survivor. Survivor, yeah. And yeah. Walter White. There yeah, are some Walter similarities White. now that there are actually. But, but the truck is cool, Tyson. The no, truck is it's cool. The Emperor's it's, new clothes. Clothes. it's the Emperor's new clothes. It is a trick by big Tesla. Big truck. And they're just like, look at how cool you'll look. And they're driving around and they're like, everyone thinks I'm so cool. Meanwhile, we're looking at them like, you stupid moron. You like, at least you, are. No, every 90 Not everyone. We need a survey. Sur study finds has got to do okay. a mm -hmm. 2,000 person survey. If you get it, Danny, are you going to shoot it with a gun? No, I probably wouldn't even drive it around, to be okay. honest. Yeah. Um, because of the stigma. But I keep it in my garage <laughs> and polish it after my kids touched it. So. Like the guy at the Tesla store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would just stand there with a rag. Yeah. I'm... I'm ashamed for the people who do own them. Whoa. Like, I feel a sense of shame for that. Like, it, it, like I don't How know. How much is it, it? How much is a Cybertruck? I don't even care. It doesn't matter. It could be $2. What, what it's is still it, Danny? not worth it. Oh, 80K? I, I think it's more than that. They, it's more than that. I don't they even advertise them as like 30K to get people to pre-sign up. And then they're, I think they're over 100 maybe. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. They're just like, it's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. It's like when. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. Starts at 81 Eight ninety five and goes up to one oh one nine eighty five. So it costs one hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. No one's getting that. You go in, you're like, I'd like the cheapest model. They're like, it yeah. doesn't exist. That's well, how yeah. got you in the they're, store. The next model, they're gonna have a real a rear wheel drive at sixty two, starting at sixty two nine eighty five. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. I'm gonna smoke out those tires mm -hmm. in front of my house. That's all I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and if if people haven't seen it, okay. Mm -hmm. Here is uh, I'll show a picture of the uh, here's a picture of the cyber truck Danny's dream oh car. God, dude, it is cool up close. I'm telling no, you, in it's person, not cool up close. I've seen multiple ones up close. I I walked around it, looked inside, looked at the truck. This bed, is like, like where you're really like, cool. okay, th hey, third graders, design a truck, mm -hmm. a space truck, and this is what they drew up. Oh, I could see this on the moon. Maybe that's yep. what the purpose was. Oh, well, on the moon, I it, look, if this was built by NASA for moon exploration, fine. Now I'm not embarrassed for the owners, but driving this around in society. It's just testing, with, Tyson, it, no. and to prepare it for the moon. We're getting ready. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe. this is uh, a great way to transition to our next story because uh, there was uh, a lot of talk. You know, the moon was going in front of the sun and everybody was distracted. But then some people at NASA, like, took their glasses off and said, hey, what is that on the moon? And they photographed a sliver, mysterious object on the surface of the moon. An Do you know obelisk? what it had to be? An obelisk. Turned out to be a well, Korean uh, yeah. low orbiter. So uh, it was exciting at first. They called it a surfboard, but then. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't Korean... even on the moon. It just was a line. No, no, it is. The it's orbiting picture. the moon. Just like our mm -hmm. So it's orbiting. orbiting. Okay. Yes. Just at a lower uh, orbit. Okay. I know it is mm -hmm. interesting that there's stuff spinning around the moon. Like, yeah. Keeping yeah. Eyes what are did the, we what know are, do we know that uh that this thing was out there danny i mean the koreans knew mm -hmm. but we and didn't what know is it this is how we found out this is their little orbiter that they have monitoring mm -hmm. the moon do we have an orbiter monitoring the moon yeah it took the picture oh hmm. <laughs> yeah uh yeah that's what i'm saying there's stuff spinning around the moon <laughs> okay i i'm that makes sense but i never even thought that like I didn't know we had that. To what? I didn't yeah, know that. Is that new? Do we just put that there? Um, good question. I don't know how long it's been up there, but probably for a while. You Which actually, even, this you can't even live on the moon without being monitored by a uh, big brother right? anymore. Also, this would be a good lead into the other story about the moon getting its own time zone, which upset me greatly when I first oh. saw it. Yeah, I don't have that, Danny. What, yeah. The, the White House has asked NASA to look into the moon getting its own time zone. Which is so stupid. Come on, Earth Standard Time. Doesn't the moon like change around and and like isn't the moon like the moon doesn't stay in one spot? No, but no. Ti the times also that the sun is on the the light side of the moon and the dark side of the moon is probably different than what Earth is. So it needs its own calendar, even I would assume. 
Yeah, I don't even think it has anything to do with this position to Earth. I think it has to do oh, something yeah. more. So, like, they're deep. saying that like it needs to be noon on the moon is when it's daytime there. No, the clock is off just by a small amount, but they want to give the moon a, a confusing time. Like, it's just mm. annoying because who cares if you're on the moon, you're trying to call home. You don't want to have to pull out your phone and do all the conversions to right. make sure and that you're not calling the cyber the truck. Just call your home for you <laughs> on the moon. And, yeah, and convert moon time to Earth time. Yeah, it, it hasn't been established yet. It's just like the White House came out and said, "Hey, let's look into this moon time thing because this okay. could be important for those." Well, at least they're focused stuff. on the big priorities. Right, right. Well, everyone was talking moon, so they're like, "Let's get another moon story out there while it's popular." So, so moon time. Moon All right, guys. So we've been doing this show for uh, it's going to be almost 10 years that we're doing oh, this show. And I'm yeah. just wondering, like, is our act getting a little stale? Uh, no. Now, can't. Could we could we use maybe a little bit of a rebranding? Because like, hear me out. OK. For just three hundred million dollars. Yes. Yeah. We could buy the rights to be Kiss. We could use their music. Is what we can do, and, or we can and, their and face be paint. them, and be them. Yes. So I can say that I'm. It's Gene, Gene Simmons, Simmons, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we would come in, that. and this would be you know News AF with Kiss every week, and we would have the rights to call ourselves. Yes, we're the band Kiss. No, and they already the sold. Makeup. We well, we, we 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 think we could both get in a better offer. Yeah, maybe four hundred million. Late? It's too late. Four hundred million. The rock so band much. Kiss has sold its back catalog of songs to a Swedish music investor for a figure thought to be upwards of three hundred million. What downwards of two cyber trucks? Gene Simmons uh, is a businessman. If we if we come in with a stronger offer, he could still pull out. You think so? Ansel. You think he's there's still time for that? Maybe. I'm surprised Pharma Bro didn't buy it. You think he put mm -hmm. in an offer <laughs> and then just he's already got that erase him album. from history? Oh, that would be that would be something else. Yeah, like just spend the rest of your podcasts life are doing that. podcasts in face paint. Like that could be a thing. You think we should oh. do that? But we can't use Kiss face paint. We'd have to use something else so we don't get sued. What should we do? Clowns. Hmm. No, um, no, we don't want to be doing the same clown podcast. Yeah, no. I saw I saw a young girl the other day wearing white face paint out in public for no mm. reason at all. No reason. It was slightly unsettling. Was mm. it? Did she look creepy? Yeah, and I knew a kid in in high school who wore face uh, paint, and uh -huh. when he'd go to the gym. Yeah, and we can't do blue man yeah. group. It's not, yeah, it's not something you want to do, guys. I'm what I'm trying Why to say. Why would you wear face paint fear. when you go to the gym? I don't know, like the distract. ultimate warrior. I have no Tyson, I have no idea. And if you knew this person, you would also be like, that just seems like him. Okay. It's okay. just like face paint who to the gym. It? Then who is uh, it? I'm not going to say who it is. His first name's Nick, but it's not the Nick I know. So, personally. Okay. But, uh, what if you do yeah, shaving so our eyebrows? Mean, shaving your eyebrows also makes you look crazy. I don't uh -huh. think you want to do any of those things. But That's if we like did know. podcasting, like some kind of like Daft Punk helmet or something like that, like that would be cool. You, you could really, you know, those look cool. Say whatever you want. Hmm. Yeah. You could give like, like some really hot pick. Yeah. Not like anything Maybe. offensive, but like, yeah. you know, like, hey, you want to know oh, what's really going on the, with this? The, yeah. visor, the visor has like a like story. What do they call those things? headlines? Mm -hmm. uh, it yeah, runs ticker. across while we talk about them. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. But I don't think Maybe we're you do like, it's just like podcast with like a vision pro on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Although Tyson, I think the Vision Pro is in league with the Cybertruck when it comes to what kind of people own and operate them. <laughs> yeah, it is Maybe. almost as bad. Almost as bad. Yeah. Um, well, Kiss, that uh, they uh, the whole IP has been sold. And so uh, that Gene Simmons, that he uh, has been selling Kiss everything. 5,000 things have been having the Kiss logo on it. Everything from coffee to condoms and even coffins. The three C's. Coffee to condoms to coffins. Yep. That's what they talk about in business school. The three mm -hmm. C's.
<laughs> Got to cover all of those. If you can get the three C's, then you've diversified enough yeah. to yes, be exactly. successful no matter if, what. If you get the, the kiss coffin, can can the Undertaker do the kiss makeup for the? Viewers? Oh Does yes, I, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. That it comes with the kiss coffin, the paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is the this... mortician will do it. Yeah, I like this. I like a kiss themed uh, funeral. Yeah. I mean, better than the Grim Reaper standing yes. there pointing at you. That's exactly what I was thinking. A lot better. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I think at least the same. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe so, Kiss and the Grim Reaper wrestle as the coffin's being lowered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Gene Simmons uh, said that, look, um, look, is, is, uh, they they would like market anything and they got asked uh, is there anything that kiss would not sell and he said that uh kiss crack is not a good idea no kiss cigarettes but the rest of the world is open why not branding makes things fun kiss bible mm -hmm. <laughs> Too bad god, i didn't think of that god is re replaced with kiss mm -hmm. throughout the entire thing Could yeah be cool mm -hmm. um we talked a little bit about the earthquake the other day in New York, and Danny yeah. was laughing and laughing. Oh, he thought it was so funny. Suffering. Yeah, he loved it. Mm -hmm. really, I really loved did not it. make fun of them. I'm just saying that people were mocking. You laughed pretty heartily. Everyone yeah. over there for their little freak well, out of a good earthquake. hearty laugh. Danny had a good hearty laugh over at the expense of the earthquake sufferers. Mm -hmm. Well. Danny, maybe you wouldn't think it was so funny if you were like this man, Justin Allen, who experienced the earthquake while getting a vasectomy in Pennsylvania. That's and he scary. accidentally got two vasectomies. <laughs> he said he thought the doctor was joking when he said, hey, uh, was that an earthquake? He's just shaking your <laughs> lower nether regions because that's something he commonly does. Whoa. Just, yeah. Yeah. How does that feel? Here he wow. is. He made it through. He... Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And, oh yeah. my gosh. She posted a picture. I posted he, a picture. Was he going to reproduce was... a bunch if he didn't get this surgery? I, who knows? I was now in an we'll earthquake once yeah. in uh, Chile, as they say. Ooh. And I thought my friends were playing a prank on me. I was asleep. Okay. And then I felt the shaking. And I thought for sure my friends were at the end of my bed shaking it. We were in like a... Like the, the an Airbnb type of hotel, yeah. and I opened my eyes to see that no, the earth was shaking my bed and not my friends. Mm. And so, you're certain, like this isn't a long con by your friends, and they've never told me. And they yeah. all talked about their own experiences with the earthquake later in the morning. And <laughs> came up with all these they awesome with you. Yeah. yeah, and we were next to a volcano, so it was like uh, they happen all the time. It was perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. Chile. Uh, I've been in an earthquake too in California playing poker. At a poker tournament, the whole poker room shook. You saw the chandeliers on the roof shake, and nobody in the poker tournament was willing to leave their chips on the table and leave. We all just sat there like, are our chips safe if we leave? And it's literally like hundreds Unclear. of Unclear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all just well, stayed was put. That's who was making fun of New York was everyone in California. It's like, oh, you shook a little bit. Like, and you, and it. yeah, I guess, I mean still don't minimize their fear mm -hmm. okay all right well you know be be careful luckily everybody was okay after the earthquake okay um we talked was it last week or the week before about uh the cicada we've talked about the brood mm -hmm. talked about all the cicadas coming mm -hmm. and then we said hey watch out the cicadas uh might spray you with their urine yeah that was a few weeks ago. That was a couple of weeks ago. Don't okay. want to get sprayed with that urine wow. that they can piss like hundreds of yards, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, things just keep getting worse uh -oh. because of, and this is like a reputable source. This isn't like the sun or anything. CBS News. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same people that bring you Survivor. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, their news department is out here with a story that says, look, Hypersexual zombie cicadas. I mean, oh my who God. had that on their no. bingo card? <laughs> no. That are infected with sexually transmitted fungus mm -hmm. expected to emerge this year. And this the is wild. 
the hypersexual zombie cicadas. Oh my gosh. How does this affect me? Okay. Well, it's a great question, Danny. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so first off, this is kind of like, like, uh, you know, when the last of us came on, it's like, this yeah. is fake. Uh, but I don't know. So there's this fungus that it sort of like, turns these cicadas they're like half alive half dead mm -hmm. that the the fungus is so like look at look at this thing so like this whole like back of him oh, is no. is fungus. the fungus okay um and so a chalky white plug erupts out taking over their bodies and making their genitals fall off okay you thought the vasectomy oh. guy you thought that was bad i got a vasectomy in the earthquake dude mm -hmm. a chalky... how would you like a cicada zombie fungus. Yeah. Chalky no white plug. needed. Okay. You, ne you never want a chalky white plug. Ever. All right. But okay. All right. My genitals fell off. Okay. Big deal. So what? Okay. Yeah. But now, then. What takes its place? Well, uh, it's a great question. How about uh, a hypersexual urge to fornicate? But you've but got no you genitals. Can't. Doesn't matter doesn't matter the cicada continues to participate in normal activities like if it was healthy Super uh like it tries to mate it flies around it walks on plants but it has a body that has been replaced by fungus mm -hmm. okay and then because it's kind of like a zombie mm -hmm. they say that the reason the cicadas ignore the fungus is because it pr uh, produces an amphetamine that gives them oh, stamina. Oh, hi. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude. That's great. And then it also gives them hypersexualized behavior. And get this. The male cicadas, mm -hmm. okay? They, um, you know, they make the noise uh, because they want to mate, okay? Yeah, lure them in. But these male cicadas, then they exhibit the behavior of the female cicada. They f And they flap their wings mm -hmm. and they act like a female cicada and then the male cicadas fornicate with them and get the and get the fungus oh, oh my no. god dude this fungus is both smart and stupid it's it gets, well it's genius yeah but We're, it gets rid of the animals this is the beginning of the end mm -hmm. I mean, let's jump so let's humans. make a pact let's make a pact i'm hoping that if anything like this happens to any of us three We'll still have the wherewithal mm -hmm. the second our genitals fall off to tell the other two before we're fully entranced by the fungus. Yeah, this might mm. get me to wear a mask if this jumps to humans. Okay, well. The chalky white plug, genitals uh -huh. falling off. It, I might be it, concerned. This is rough, right? Um, And so yeah, then news. and then the cicadas, then eventually, then they're going to die. Mm -hmm. Okay? um, But then... We don't know what's going. Birds eat them. Animals eat them. Oh no. yeah, the birds oh, genitals are falling off. We don't know. We, around. I, I, we don't know what's going to happen. Danny's uh, going to be eating a sandwich in New Zealand, and a bird <laughs> genitals going to fall on, on his sandwich, sandwich, and he's going to eat it because the lady who made the sandwich is watching him, so he can't not eat it. Yeah. Then uh, he gets it. He's going to be patient mm -hmm. one. Yeah, they said they have not observed any other impact on wildlife, but they said it's possible. There's an impact. Oh, well, everything's possible. Yeah. Right. I, I, uh, Danny, be I'm careful. Worried. Okay. Be careful Dan, there, Danny's Danny. not. When Danny worries, I'll worry. Um, but yeah. they said then they are urging people do not eat the cicadas. Oh, Tierra goes, in the chat says, I might have this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. All right. It's too late. Chalky white plugs. Uh huh. Genital yeah. evacuation. Yeah. It's all um, happening. If you so, what the, should we do as humans? If you see the fungus on the cicadas, uh, take a picture. Don't eat it. Don't, don't try and it. mate with the cicada. Don't eat don't it. Let it. Don't let it hump your leg. Yep. Yeah. Run. Mm hmm. Okay. But you can't well, run because it's just a giant cloud of these things everywhere. Pee, just chalky plugs. Chalky white plugs. Hypersexualized, I, yeah, sounds yeah. terrifying. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's not safe anymore. Not safe, but I didn't even know this could happen to so, like I feel bad for them. You really, do? you feel bad for them? Well, yeah, let's see how like the double just, brood goes. They don't even know they're high AF, they don't even know they're like high on uh, amphetamines. They're yeah, like, having yeah, the time okay. of their life. Is that any way to live? This though, brood Danny. is buzzing like it's on crystal meth. It, yeah. it, apparently, it is. They're yeah. gr grinding they're anything aware. that walks. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. 
but they're not in control and that's what's sad that is pretty sad okay um and then a story from canada i just Mm -hmm. returned from visiting our friends in canada okay okay just so you know they had to clarify uh, a rule here in ottawa about the hov lane the high occupancy vehicle lane yeah your dog does not count as a person in the Ooh, HOV dog lane. owners are going to be pissed. Yeah. That's... Dogs do not count as an extra person. Mm-hmm. That's going to court, Canadian court. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they're part of a family. Right. They're like they a their, kid. Mm-hmm. Picture of their family. It's like one single person, then four dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the sticker in the back. No. The that, well, is, isn't that saving fuel that the, the each of the dogs don't have their own car to take? Yeah, yeah. I mean, or Ubering or whatever. Can you Uber your dog somewhere without you in the car? Um, oh that, I, that's a great question. I don't know. Does the dog have a smartphone? Like, Hold can up. you put this? Yeah. Dog Uber. I just came up with it. What's, so, what are we calling it? Uh, Obviously, I want to say Duber, but it is <laughs> Uber Barks. <laughs> Uber uh, Barks. Or just, we don't Uber have to have an Uber in it. Uh, Uber Rough. Uber. Okay, we'll go, let's come dog. back to it. We'll come back okay. to it. Okay. So basically what happens, I'm a dog owner. I need my dog to go to the, to the dog park, but I don't have time for that right now. I'm podcasting. So I set it up. Uber driver rolls up. Dog door opens. Boop. Dog gets lured into Uber with treats. And then the guy drops him off at the dog park. Then I arrange for the ride home. Isn't that just a dog? Yeah, it sounds more like a dog walker. Yeah. Yeah. I think they already have the service. He doesn't stay. He doesn't stay with the dog at the dog park. He just someone has to stay with the dog, or else that dog is going to the pound. Well, let's then we have to now create places where the dog just like goes in to they can go into the underground tunnels. Where the uh, the cyber trucks where the cyber trucks no where the trying. spider the spider robot dogs deliver things from Amazon uh-huh. oh, oh yeah and they can walk to the park through that tunnel okay hmm. huh uh, I don't think anybody wants an unattended dog in their car Uber fetch <laughs> there's no amount of money you could pay me it was like yeah sure just put your mm-hmm. dog in my in the yeah. back of my car could you yeah. get like an apple watch dog collar uh to because you need some kind of like device to be able to like to Listen, track where the dog is going in the uber mark my words before in before we die yeah of natural causes yes some <laughs> form of uber fetch will exist okay oh i like yeah. that fetch yeah that's what uh, you just came... Michael Metters in the chat came up with. Okay. That's a oh. great name. He better okay. jump on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I I believe that they've already probably had. Con- I look. I have no they insider information. Oh yeah, the people at Uber. I've definitely yeah. talked about. It. They probably have dogs in the office. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, well, how could we get our dog home early before us? Because we're going to work late tonight, and the dog can watch a uh, dog TV. <laughs> Yeah, or listen on. to Tyson's dog audiobooks. Yes, yes, treats. Yeah, yummy yums. <laughs> <laughs> Good, okay. boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good yeah. boy. All right, Danny, are you ready to take us to your bolt hole this week? Yeah, let's journey there together. All right, here we go. Here's Danny's bolt hole. Welcome to my bolt hole. Like it. I think you're gonna feel you belong. Yes. Um, okay, we talk a lot about the double brood. Yeah. You um, think too much? No, the right amount. Uh, that's exactly <laughs> perfect amount. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I've I've discovered something in my reading that has changed my view of the double brood. We, I had this, I had this idea or picture in my head. The double yeah. brood was going to be erupting all over the eastern United States. Yeah, right? just like exploding, just trillions like, of them. Yeah, emerging from the ground to murder sh- hornet levels. Of yes, cicadas, yeah. just like hey. bursting. Yeah, to drop their genitals and pee and grind everything in sight. Chucky but I have loves. learned, looking at Newsweek, they have a, a cicada map up, mm-hmm. and it's. There, there's only like one place in the U.S. where okay. the double brood will be emerging together. Where both brood, 
Don't Illinois. say North Carolina. Okay. That's it. And All by right. the way, if you live anywhere in there, the, that area is just going to be swamped. Mm, where is this? Uh, Illinois. Ooh. Uh, Chicago? But, yeah. No, no. South of Chicago. I'm trying to find the specific town. They don't. Next month. It says overlap in a portion of central Illinois. But uh, other than that, it really doesn't. I'm, I mean, I'm saying this as someone yeah. who doesn't have to interact with them at all. But it doesn't seem like it's People going to from be Illinois. as bad as uh, we keep hearing. Yeah, it's going to be the bad for them. Oh, yeah, it'll be bad for those people. Like, they might as well move and set their towns on fire. But <laughs> I, I pictured this the, the whole time out. we've been talking about it uh, and the way that it's been described in the media as, like, this eruption of uh, these insects. The entire West Coast was just going to be – East Coast, I mean, was just going to be covered. Yeah, but That's Danny, what I thought. Yeah. Danny, if you're – if you're in the danger zone here, wouldn't you want the entire country to at least feel and for you yeah, and appreciate. appreciate struggles and be with you in spirit, even if they can't be there in person? Yeah, I guess. Ro Unfortunately, Rob does get a little of brood. A little X brood. Yeah. X. I'm going to stay inside. Most people north of him are free and clear. Okay. Uh, people through the South are getting it, but not all the way to Florida. And then, yeah, they're overlapping kind of in the Illinois region and the, okay. the bordering States. Okay. Look, the brood, the double brood is going to be terrible for some people, but I just had a, a, a great idea. Okay? okay. Okay. All right. Cicada moon pies. Close. <laughs> you're, you're on the right track, Tyson, because just like, all the big brands that they said, okay, Eclipse is oh, coming. How yeah. do we make Capitalize. money mm -hmm. on the, we need to get the double brood merch out there. Yeah. Is double brood, brood chalky plug yeah. pizza. Okay. What's, what, what are the, what's the idea for the double brood merch? Double pizza brood tacos. A, a Taco a, Bell. A, a quad brood, triple brood. Do you want to yeah. say like, I'm in the mood for a double brood. Yeah. And then get two for one. Everything's two for what one. What about like, it's like a guy with like a coffee and it's like, it says a uh, cold brood. Yeah. Yeah. Cold and it's like, brood. it's just like a, a cup of uh, cicada urine. Now with way, chalky plug. Mm -hmm. I, I think if you want to market something, you want to attach uh, the idea of your product with a good thing. Mm. Not like the solar eclipse. It was like cool, right? Mm -hmm. Unique. I don't think you want to attach your your product to genital dropping <laughs> all right well really? danny there's no yeah. bad ideas in brainstorming yeah I'm, maybe you're not a double brood <laughs> dude danny yeah but i'm not Rob a double, and I are double brood dudes yeah what I about think, like I, brood xxl and then nope. you'd be like oh that guy's double xl yeah. obviously sell all of these products outside of the brood zone i think mm -hmm. because people living there will be upset like mm -hmm. every day is a nightmare. And then they're going into Taco Bell. And they're like, would you like a double brood uh, taco? <laughs> and you're like, I am so sick and tired of the brood. I'm not in a brood mood. No, I'm not in a brood mood. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dude. Where's the bell? Yeah. Why are you uh, not in a brood, a brood mood, dude? We got to get to market on this quick. Mm -hmm. We need the Etsy store now. This yeah. is the big idea. This is it. This Ten is years it. of this podcast, we're going to cash out on the Brood merch. This is when Little Caesars should come out with that double pizza box again. The sleeve of I, pizza. Yeah, you I remember, remember that, that when we were no. kids? Mm -hmm. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. The Little Caesars sleeve of pizza. You could you could only buy two pizzas from Little Caesars. That's was their marketing yeah. at first. My mom had the pizza out of the sleeve by the time I got to the kitchen. Tyson. Yeah, so uh, it would come in one long paper sleeve with two pizzas in it pizza pizza yeah i remember that yeah at the, yeah. least the pizza pizza okay. what pizza about pizza. mountain brood would you like that oh. like it's like a mountain dew oh. logo with mountain brood yeah, yeah of mountain course brood. and drinking. it's like a cicada drinking the soda i'll yeah. be drinking that and it's just like chalky white color or they already have white mountain dew mm. no it has a chalky do. white plug for a lid or a cap <laughs> mm -hmm. and then you just pop like a cork mm -hmm. yeah I, Danny, uh, I feel like you're not really feeling this. He's loving it. I don't like insects and the sound of, well, if you live but in you Missouri. Money, or, Danny. Oh, I like yeah. the sound of money. I'm just How feeling bad sound? for these people who have to 
live their lives in the swarm. No, this is like I survived double brood X. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember <laughs> Danny? Like Punxsutawney Phil, the people in Punxsutawney, they hated living where Phil, the good groundhog, lived for a long time. But then they've come to embrace. We're it. gonna turn yeah. the double Southern brood Illinois. into a billion dollar industry. Southern Illinois is the double brood. Uh, what's a name for a location that we'll do a with, podcast with live brood. from there outside so everybody can hear the brood. Yeah. Brood okay. AF. All right. Look, I'll yeah. eat a brood product. That's because I am not. Oh, being they said not to eat cicadas. Warm. Yeah. But you yeah. better get this in the pipeline quickly because there is no. Well, that's what they, they emerge wait, wait, from the I'm ground. I'm trying to move. Okay, well, you better hurry up because I Tyson, you get it. Out. I get it, dude. I get it. I think that Southern Illinois should fully embrace this and be like, we are the double brood capital of the world. But, and listen, yeah, listen, to to listen, listen to me. Listen to me. This isn't a bit, Danny. I'm yeah. as serious as an earthquake during a vasectomy, okay? Yeah. I'm not you, joking. Danny, All you've right. seen a okay. solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse, right? Now imagine yeah. seeing 85 trillion <laughs> total solar eclipse at the same time. That is the double brood with deafening helicopter-like sound, <laughs> like sound that cannot oh be that cannot be tuned down or uh, tuned out all night long. Yes. Yeah, that is real the power of the double brood. Mm -hmm. You in? Well, it's happening in one spot, the vortex here in central Illinois. That's like the one place you don't want to be. Or you this do want to be to experience the double brood. Yeah, Maybe that's Look, what we should do, Tyson. We should go experience it. I'm going to start the thread in yeah. the Facebook group after the podcast. Okay, group AF. I'm starting a thread. What is the right merch to be getting out there for the double brood X. Are you asking Wind AI or you're asking the chat? I was going to ask the chat. Windshield wiper fluid. The, uh, uh, well, I, I mean, I was going to ask the Facebook group. Uh, yeah. You think you think you just go right to AI? You go right to AI. Okay. All right. Uh, we are uh, entrepreneurs. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and uh, we are working on. And this is a live podcast, so please don't steal this. Okay. Yeah. Nobody steal this business idea. We yeah, have we it. Time intellectual property. Yeah. yeah. Or we'll we will sue you. We're live. Yeah. This is being recorded. Yeah. Every we have witnesses. Yeah. We'll get okay. Uh we are entrepreneurs. We are working on t-shirt designs uh for the upcoming double brood X cicada invasion. I, uh -huh. I bet it doesn't even know what the double brood is. Yeah, dude. We, the uh, we need, what would you say? Pithy? Uh, that doesn't seem uh, like slogans and puns, uh, yeah. that are, uh, brood, brood related. or cicada related yeah. for our, uh, um, emerging t-shirt, uh, and merch business. Yes. Can you imagine flying a helicopter in the double brood? Like it would be a, one of those horror films as everything gets gummed up and they, like you can't fly. Yeah. You can't land an airplane. You can't drive a car. You're Dude. just going to be hiding in your house until they die. You think we're going to get choked out by the brood? I think I want to go Tyson. Let's go. Let's buy a ticket to central Illinois and then okay. it'll, we'll get there in the morning and leave obviously that night. Uh, but we'll experience. We're going to want to make. <laughs> We're gonna want to make a lot of reservations right. of exiting, so that we have we have an Uber exiting, we have the flights exiting, we have private yes. helicopter exiting, yes. we have submarine <laughs> exit, we have boat exit, we have every train exit, just so that whatever gets get gummed up from the double brood, we have nothing. We're out. out. Okay, mm -hmm. let me just tell you, Tyson, you made yeah. the right call because yeah. um, yes. these these suggestions are great. Uh -huh. Okay, all oh, right, wow. all right, here we go. Um, how about Cicada Block Party 2024 colon louder than ever? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, I love that's that. Good. Look, that's good. There's better yeah. ones. Okay. okay. Uh, how about Brood X colon? We waited 17 years for this reunion tour. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that's good. good. Yeah. Danny's a little nonplussed. No, Danny. no, I, I did like both those. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Sleep. Emerge, sing, repeat, colon, cicada life. 
yeah, cicada awesome. life. <laughs> it's not good. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm just here for the cicada serenade. That's pretty yeah, good. That's I can see that like too. a dad with a t shirt. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. this, this is a good one. Cicadas made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's yeah. good these are um, better than i thought they would be yeah this one is called cicada invasion colon the soundtrack of summer <laughs> that's good <laughs> that was Seven- great dude yeah this is guys good- 17 years underground but ready to party yeah <laughs> yeah i love it we're laughing. I this is all I'm trying We're gonna to get be from. laughing all the way to the bank. No, we're because laughing. that's how New York felt when we when Danny laughed at their earthquake. These people living through this brood. Yeah, they're they, harmless. Just, they're not they going to be laughing. They're, they're harmless. Not, they're not harmless. The best they do? thing that they can smile and have fun with these shirts you on. Gotta, Are you kidding like, me? Yeah, Danny, life gives yeah. you a uh, brood X. You make uh, t-shirts. Brood yeah. juice. <laughs> you make uh, cicada piss out of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is a good one. Brood X vibes only. Yeah. Brood <laughs> X vibes only, Danny. No. And Danny. We're, All right, Danny. This is a, look, look, look at this one. Got cicadas? We do every 17 years. <laughs> Uh, this is a good one. Cicada Cullen, nature's own alarm clock. Yeah. They're all great. They're all great. We yeah. it's hard to gonna be hard to pick just one. You're trivializing uh is that the word trivializing? Trivializing. Trivializing. I, I, it's trivializing. Just like, the trivializing. It's like the problem is it's like we're gonna go like into the shark tank with pain. all of our cicada merch, and the mm-hmm. and the sharks are gonna say, Hey, pick one idea and go with it. You can't have 17 different cicada no, ideas. You can have 17 cicada ideas. We go. That's their, the magic we number. Screen print on the T-shirt. They're made to order right there as we pop. Get them going. Yeah. Let's get these on. Uh, what is that? A uh, T-shirt uh, print to order. Uh, website. Etsy or uh, which which one? I mean, we could do it through the art. First of all, we could first of all, we could get this on the like if we get the design, we could get this on the RHAP merch store. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Pretty, okay. Pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's what um, I'm saying. Let's. But do I think it. we need to be also on like Etsy. Uh, okay. because let me talk to my wife tonight and see that, uh, like if, if she can get, get the, the whole thing up and running again. Okay. I like this. I like yes. this a lot. This. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, this and I mean, we don't need, idea. yeah, we don't need all of them. We need the one or two of the best ones. Will, Look, will we be donating? Luke, Luke Arthur, 5%? Says, I will buy it. Yeah. Will we be do- mm-hmm. donating 5% to the victims of the double brood? <laughs> If there are victims, <laughs> if there are victims, they can yeah. have five percent. Yes. Well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Doing our part. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We Seventeen are... cents of every purchase will be donated to Cicada Relief. We are philanthropists mm-hmm. first. Yes. Okay. So. All right. Now, I'll do take... we look? Uh, ChatGPT had a lot of great suggestions. Is it time to make the, the thumbnail? Yeah, let's make the thumbnail. Maybe okay. make one of those. Yeah, one of those shirt designs. Okay, well that that we could do that too. But it's not good with text. It like uh, yeah. we'll just write like gibberish. Yeah, it could maybe do like uh you know a picture, but it's not it's not great with logo design yet. Uh, Doc says baby TSA agents inspecting a Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> I doesn't know and what a crying, cyber truck is. Crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's we can try like, it. I'm not a baby and I get horrible vibes from a cyber truck. Mm-hmm. Like I yeah, can't. even just the thought of one, I'm just like, oh man, that was a downer just thinking of a cyber truck. Um we can try. By the way, I showed this to my kids, uh, and that uh it was it was a mistake. The AI generator, the yeah. AI image generator yeah. request yeah, all day long. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> they that this is uh, you know what you, you want to you know what my like I showed this to my kids and I let them do it and then now I've got in my Leonardo dot AI uh, this is a uh, da baby uh, mm-hmm. and a golden doodle on a bus with one million dogs begging. Um, Okay, <laughs> that's in your. This is where their mind goes. It's this a lot of like kids? chicken nuggets, the dog. For some reason, Da Baby is very uh, interesting. But ironically enough, we are going to make uh, a baby, not yeah. Da Baby. Yeah. Not baby, da baby TSA agent 
inspecting mm-hmm. a cyber truck. Okay. Okay. I, I'm excited uh, to see this. A, a TSA agent is crying uh, while inspecting a cyber truck. I wonder if it can get TSA agent. I don't yeah, I don't even know if it's going to know what a cyber truck is or a TSA agent, okay? Um yeah. Also we worked on that uh my children are going to be in a production of James and the Giant Peach and we worked on making a poster for Kevin James and the Giant Peach. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Speaking of yeah, to, Paul Blart is kind of like a TSA agent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, Danny, what's coming up for you? Working on a video from my time in Los Angeles, uh, skiing mm-hmm. that peak. Hopefully I'll have that out on Sunday on mm. your YouTube channel. Uh, other than that, I'm just trying now to be booking tickets to central Illinois with Tyson yeah. to uh, experience and gain some sympathy for those who have to live through the double B the so, double B. that's good yeah don't say the double b word should yeah. we go right now and just wait till the double brood happens or do we wait till it starts and then I think, rush well, we gotta get there. the merch store we gotta have the merch I, store yeah store. yeah we, we want to wear the shirts while we're there but we, we also need get- it to be peak we need the yeah. news af crew to like uh who want in they, they got to get us some early reviews so like the double brood people are not because father's day is around the corner this yeah. is the father's day gift oh, of the century. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of the last two decades. Yeah, at least. At least 17 yeah. years. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Josh Wiggler's here. He says, big upvote for Kevin James and the Giant Peach. Okay. There's a lot of them we could do. Rick James and the Giant Peach. Oh, Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, a crying baby TSA agent See, inspecting a cyber truck is not. No, this is kind of like a get it. truck. Yeah. It's too many things. This is what yeah. I'd say to my kids. You can't do the baby okay. with a with a golden doodle eating chicken McNuggets with Harry Potter's okay. head on a car. Like zombie cicadas. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Oh. We did a cicada one last week. Can we do we too many cicada ones? We, have, we got the cicada merch coming. Uh, that could be our brand. Yeah, it's our <laughs> new brand. This is a cicada only podcast. Mm-hmm. And welcome back to the cicada hour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what about an eclipse made of cicadas? Uh what about uh zombie cicadas? Uh what about a yeah. A, zombie cicadas block out the sun? Yes. Or a dog yes. driving in the HOV lane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's try let's try that and see what happens. That sounds okay. scary. Okay, Super. Tyson, what's coming up for you? Uh, Survivor podcast tomorrow. We're going to test drive again. Like a the, cyber truck. Whoa. We're test driving another one of Elon Musk's products, Starlink. Oh. Um, and uh, that's what I've got at my house because I live in the county now, I guess. And uh, you can shoot your machine guns out your backyard, though. And nobody yeah. knows anything about it. Yeah. And. Uh, then Rachel's out of town, girls trip. So I got the kids. So it's just like movie night and treats uh, every every night this week. Wow! And that's it. You mm-hmm. know, just just plugging away. Mm. Okay. So yeah. Um. Okay. What do, Tyson what Nicole have? in the chat says, uh, "I want to thank Tyson for responding to my DM about the official pickleball pickle flavored multivitamins." Yeah. I. Uh, uh, it was an April Fool's joke from uh, Nature's Best or Nature Harvest or whatever that that supplement brand is, and it mm-hmm. was like pickle vitamins to you know get your pickles in without having to eat a pickle. And I was like, oh yeah, all of the good <laughs> pickle nutrients now in pill form. Yeah. Okay. Um, so zombie cicadas block out the sun. Maybe I needed to have the word eclipse uh, because uh, this is like a. Just some some cicadas. They don't even look very zombie esque. Mm. No, they look healthy. Do more zombie. Can you like be like? I need them to look more yeah. zombie. Um, I don't think it's like Chat GPT. Okay. I don't think it works that way. Okay, but, let's okay. do uh, uh, let's do a uh, dog in the HOV lane uh, in the back of it. No, I don't know. Whatever. We didn't spend that, but like I think we could tweak this one. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, sick, a. S- uh, Zombie, uh, super zombie mega cicada. 
<laughs> I don't think that'll make a difference. Get rid of the realistic yeah. filter too. Okay. All right. See, we're such experts on this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, okay. How about uh, a cicada clips? And we'll do like, uh, what do you think? Some kind of um, shock photo? That sounds scary. Okay. Let's do creative. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And maybe yep. I'll t- turn off uh, photo reel. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Get a, we don't want anything Let's real. Uh, have it real fun. Uh, a uh, zombie cicadas. Yeah. Eclipse the sun. I'm, I'm picturing or picturing yeah. like Jeff Goldblum in the fly. Yeah. That's what that I was want. Creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and a kiss funeral. Maybe that could be like yeah. for the for the cicadas. Let's yeah. see. Is it is it generating something for us now? It's working on it. Yeah. And then what for do you me, have, Rob? Yeah. Uh, I just got yeah. the the usual. Um, I'm back at it here, back in the mm-hmm. uh, back in the studio after about uh, you know two days when I was traveling. Uh, that uh, Chappelle filled in for me on the club condo, talking about uh, what's going on with Survivor, and then we'll get back into it. Okay. Ooh, ooh, this is creepy. <laughs> Getting a little creepy. Okay. Like in All a right. Good way. So we definitely have zombie cicadas now. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that, that uh, is different. This I one don't is mind. Really... That one's horrifying. <laughs> that is horrifying. <laughs> Too scary. I don't mind the one of them flying in front of the sun. This like one, that one, yeah, yes. yeah, that one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have our winner. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. So be on the lookout for for that, and be on the lookout for our uh, double brood X merch mm-hmm. that we're working on. Coming soon. Okay, coming soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. We did it, guys.